me a favor before this video starts make sure to use code redpandaman6897 in the fortnite item shop also hit accept and you should be good to go enjoy the video hey what's going on guys it's me again stunning money 24 and we're back for yet another video and yes today we are back in the new season of fortnite today we are playing chapter 4 season 3 but this is the reaction to the new battle pass unfortunately faded could not make it to this video or anyone else for that matter but i will say that i just had my birthday yesterday as of recording this video my birthday is june 8th for those who do not know it is june 9th of the date as i am recording the video but as you can see we are in chapter 4 season 3 I am level 2 because of some XP that I got from new EFN maps I was just testing out some maps I have not played any of the new season at all but I did get 10 battle stars but yeah we're gonna go over the new seasons cosmetics battle pass overview basically it has been a while since I did this video but you know since this is the last season I'll try and get this one out as quick as I can but let's just claim the two rewards which are just V bucks we're just playing the two bits of V-Bucks here on page one. Okay, so now that we're here, we're going to start with page one, which gives you the era loading screen. Learn from the past to protect the future. Art by Bill Quiss Evely. I don't know how to say the name, okay? But yeah, we have the classic age rap that's animated. As you can see, here's the rap. It's got different types of models. Apparently, there's a drum gun this season, from what I heard. We've also got the time sweeper glider. Time flies. Man, that thing moves fast. Seize the future. Press play and fall through time. Not bad. Okay, so obviously we had V-Bucks. We have Kronos Lock. Lock into the here and now. It's a pretty clean back bling. It works with my skin here. The Countdown Contrail. Time is of the essence. Now this one is a really cool contrail i love the blue on it because you know blue my favorite color we have v bucks we have era the past lives within her and this is her original style i like this one although i probably will like her other styles more if i'm gonna be completely honest i don't know yet but we'll see trace open up your mind and listen art by jason reich and Trace is apparently one of the skins. We have the spray called Menacing Trace. Leave your mark. We also have Nomad Spear. A gift from Storm and Desert. So, yeah. Now we have Get Out of Your Mind. Let your thoughts run free. Oh, dear God. What is this? Why is there slurp coming out of it? Oh, God. Okay. We have the Psionic Surfer Glider find yourself in style the flutterfall contrail guide the butterfly we also have trace this is the trace skin okay so oh 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 so is that like slurp in his arms or something is he like forging slurp through his body or something because if that's true then that's crazy that's kind of cool actually i like that we have rebel trace loading screen wander long enough and you'll never be lost art by gary chu we also have a banner icon here, a new icon for your banner, assign it in the locker. We have 100 V-Bucks. We have Beacon Glass, shards pulsing with psychotic resonance. We have the Contour Camo Wrap. It's reactive. Obviously, you cannot trigger the weapon, but I guess it's a pretty okay wrap. It's probably not going to match a whole lot of skins, but we have the Thinking Trace Emoji. And right here we have the Rebel Trace, Wander No More. Oh, oh, sorry, that's buying levels, my bad. I was trying to click on New Reward. Okay, so right here you can see Rebel Trace. This is what he looks like in this style. Not the greatest style, but if you're into the kind of hood thing that he's got going on here, then yeah. I mean, the colors are not bad here. I think that's slap juice that he has in this one, but I'm not entirely sure. We have Ryan, Rianne, Rianne, I think, Rianne. I don't know how you say your name, but reach the summit and you'll discover your truest self. Art by Afu Chan. We also have Jolt Jam. Express yourself in the battlefield. Another emoji, basically, a guitar. We have 100 V Bucks. We have a pickaxe this time. I'm gonna go ahead and swing this pickaxe, but it's called the Molten Max Axe Volcanic Rock Wrecker. Wow, that guitar looks sick on Aura. I like this one. Electric Shredder, charge it up. Not bad. We have Ryan's Roar Rap. I like the skull on it. 
It does remind me of a certain thing. Had I can't put my finger on it though. Either way, we have Ryan or Rian or Rian. I don't know. Let the beat run wild. This is what the outfit looks like in backside view, and the obviously the front side. This is her lobby pose. I'm guessing. Pretty cool. We have the rock slide Rian or Rian. This island is amazing. It always matches my tempo. Art by Pius Bach. We also have the Molten Max Axe, once again with a new style. Uh, all I gotta do is view the ward and swing it. I feel like since this one's more of a greenish type color, I feel like Faded would like this color. I feel like he would like it. The banner icon, this literally reminds me of something. This logo. I don't know what it is. But we have the Buzzsaw Breacher, Thrasher Way Through. And then yes, this one's a style for a glider. It is a glider. I will redeploy it here. I like the little picture on it. We have the Venom Riff Spray. We have the This Is Fine. Oh god, it's actually called This Is Fine. Why? It's literally the meme. This is fine. Everything is perfectly alright. This is literally the meme with a dog. Oh my god. Look at this. It's got the fire, the smoke. It's got everything. Wow. This is great. This is probably the top tier emote this season. Moving along, we have Rian or Rian. Let the beat run wild. As you can see, she has two separate styles. But this is her second one here, like so. I'll show you her backside on this one. So this logo is basically her logo. Okay, so what's the first one look like? Go back to the first one. If you can, switch back there. There we go. Okay. So this is her without the jacket, I'm guessing. Alright, there you go. We have the relic loading screen. I am unmatched among you in battle or otherwise. And this one says, Art by Ryan S We have the blow your top emoji. Pretty cool. It's a little volcano. We have the rock fall contrail. Kind of same thing. Volcanic vibes, if you're into that thing. Bring down the fire. Alright, 100 V-Bucks. Lithic. Rap. Eh. I'd say it go well with some skins, but if you're into this kind of rap, then you're into this kind of rap. For me, I might not be into it. We have the Signal Tracer Backbling. A true hunter is never lost. Now this one is pretty cool. This is what it looks like from all angles here, from the back. We have the Relic Skin. An intrepid hunter sinking the island's secrets. So right here, here he is. Not a huge fan of this style, but if you are, then there you go. Deep Walker Relic. No secret will elude me. No enemy will outwit me. Art by Grant Griffin. Okay, this one I think Soul would like. Soul loves this type of vibe going on here. It honestly reminds me of like a weird frozen version of what's his name? The guy from Stranger Things. I don't know the name at the top of my head. I think it starts with a V or something. I don't remember. Soul would know. Banner icon. We have the Hunter's Reach. This is a pickaxe. No quarry will escape you. And that's what it looks like when you swing it. Kind of the same thing for like almost every spear thing that you hold. Pretty sick. I like that kind of pickaxe. Relic beckons. It's a spray. We got the 100 V-Bucks. Sky Scout glider. Oh wow. Okay, this glider is probably my top tier favorite this season right here. This style in particular is just... I love the blue and everything on it right here. It's just so good. It matches well with the gray and the silver. It's so good. Sky Scout, hunt from above. All right. So we have that glider. We have Deep Walker Relic, an intrepid hunter seeking the island secrets. And here is this style. I like this one a little more because this one has all the blue and the gold and the black or grayish type color. Oh, whoops. I accidentally backed out. Alright, next up we have Mariposa, which apparently from a YouTuber I watched, his name is Tabor Hill, if you guys haven't seen him before. He did tell everybody on his video that Mariposa actually means butterfly in Spanish. I'll just put the clip on screen. Here's the Deep Walker Relic. That's completely different than what we've seen for Relic, so very impressive. Not bad. Moving on to Mariposa, which means butterfly in Spanish. This is a Dynamo reskin. Alright, now that you guys have seen the clip, so Mariposa, I've never felt more at home than when I am in the ring. Art by Maria the Wolf. Also, check out Tabor Hill on YouTube. Other than that, we have Esther... How do you say this? Esther Alita Dynamo? I don't know how you say that, but... 
it's basically an emoji. It's like a star. But we have the Hazadora wings. This might fit some skins if you're into that kind of thing. The hut is always with you. But yeah, kind of clean. It might match the Zuri skin if you guys own the Zuri skin. I feel like it would match her quite a bit. But these wings are nice. I like it. We have the banner icon. It's a mask. Uh, the Kazadora glider. Wow, that was a nice pull out. We have the formidable friend for a true dynamo. And basically, this is the glider. I will redeploy it one more time. Very cool. Love that. 100 V-Bucks. We have Mariposa herself. The daring dynamo reinvented. And here she is in all pink. She has like burgundy type sneakers with some black on there. I like that. I mean, she looks cool. If you guys like this skin, let me know. I mean, I think she's pretty cool in this style. She might match a lot of stuff that I own. So moving along, we have Midnight Mariposa. There's no better rush than the audience cheering my name. Art by Delicious Design League. All right. Midnight Rumble, leave your mark. And another spray. It says Lucha Libre, 100 V-Bucks. We have Lucha Slashers, claw through the competition. Oh yeah, I forgot to swing the pickaxe. Hold on. Speaking of Tabor Hill, guys in my video here, he does not like two-handed pickaxes. I kind of have to agree with him. They're not the greatest, but it has a cool contro. If you guys are into that kind of thing. We have Count It Emote. Basically, it's like the referee when you're doing wrestling. Looks like they're down for the count. Yeah, pretty cool emote there. We have 100 V-Bucks as well. And this style, uh, it reminds me of the two skins, Rose and the other male character, Rosita or something. I don't know. I don't remember the skin names, but I'll put them up on screen as well as I'm talking about this. But here is Midnight Mariposa. I like this one a little more because it has the blue pop out like everywhere on this style. This one's like really just, I don't know. It's overall my fan favorite. But yeah, there's that style there. Moving on, we have a new skin coming up here, and his name is Lorenzo. They say, I'll find danger in these old ruins. Sounds fun. Art by Raid71. Moving along, we have Bushwhacked. It's another emoji. Uh, over here, we have Adventure Calls. Press play and explore the wilds. Interesting. Okay. 100 V-Bucks. We have the Northwester Deluxe. Find your way at any cost. Another clean back bling. We have also, oh wow. Oh my gosh. I might have to swap on my pickaxe for this. Like look how well the colors match aura on the pants and everything. And this lighting right here. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. This pickaxe here is just overall clean with aura. And especially this style of aura. Which is the one I main right here. This is my main skin. But yeah, moving along. Besides the whole point in that, we have Lorenzo himself, Influential Explorer, and Roguish Raconteur. I don't know how to say that. Raconteur? Either way, this guy here from all angles here, this is Lorenzo. Anyway, moving along, we have Lorenzo the Dashing, which is probably another style of him, I'm guessing. Adventure is Perilous Pursuit. That's why I love it. Art by Enzo Fernandez. Okay. We have Drone Drop Contrail. Command the skies. Nice little drone following you while you glide. We have the Adventure Aerial Glider. I like the little waves coming out the back of this one. It's got a compass. Pretty cool. Looks like, kind of like a bird. Make your descent at a comfortable speed. Lorenzo Explorers. And that's another spray for Lorenzo. We have 100 V-Bucks. The dramatic flares send them a signal of your distress. Oh my god, I'm begging on my knees. No! No one came to help me. Oh man. Oh well. We have Lorenzo the Dashing, Influential Explorer, and Roguish Raconteur. So here he is, Mr. Lorenzo the Dashing style. This one's a lot better. A lot more cleaner. Love the blue on this guy. Pretty cool. Can't wait to try out the new season, by the way, guys. I'm kind of into the new season idea of the wild theme of the jungle. I don't know why. It's interesting. We have the iconic era. My ancestors beckon me toward my destiny. Art by Robert M. Ball. So, moving along, we have the banner icon. The wrapping. This one is animated, it seems. Here's the wrapping on like pretty much everything. 
It's a clean wrapping on the sniper, I can't lie. It's a clean wrapping overall. I like the blue on it. It matches well with the blue and the white and all that. And the gold matches well with all of the colors there. We have the time swirl spray. This one right here is her pickaxe uh, from the beginning. She's on page 12. The one from page 1. This is her second style. So these are called the synchronous psi. Effective for every era. And moving along, we have 100 V-Bucks. And then we have Ancestral Shift Emote. Seems like it's built in here. Very nice. I love this style that she's got going on here, but here's her style that she transforms into. This one's a little more better than all the styles I've seen so far, probably. But move along. Let's go move along here. We have the Timeless Era. Like every era before me, I never walk alone. Art by Pix Milk. Move along. We have 100 V-Bucks. Cronus Lock Backbling, another clean backbling style right there. We have the Synchronous Psy, effective for every era. Another style there. Fader will love the green, obviously. Pretty clean. We have the green style on this one as well. The Time Sweeper Glider, very clean. 100 V-Bucks, and here, oh wow. I'm just gonna say this now, I actually like the Timeless Era. The past lives within her. Look at that style. <laughs> It's got blue all over it. This has got to be my absolute favorite right here. This is it. This is my favorite style right here. It has to be. Wait, why does it say there's one of two on this one? Does it swap or... Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. She has like a thing on the top of her head. I can't tell what that is. People in the comments, if you watch this video, let me know what that is on the top of her head. I have no idea what that is. But she's a nice, clean skin. This has got to be my favorite style. Moving along, Optimus Prime. We knew he was coming, obviously. So this is the loading screen for Optimus Prime. He's the tier 100 skin. Protect others no matter the cost. Art by David Nakayama. All right, moving along, we have Autobot Emblem. Autobots roll out. So that's a back bling. We have a spray G1 Optimus Prime. We have the emoji roll out. We have the Cybertronian axe. This belongs with him, obviously. Wield with honor. Here's what the axe looks like. Oh wow, look at that. It has that nice blue and orange sparkle when you swing stuff. Wow, that is sick. Look at the swinging animation. I like that. Such a clean pickaxe. 100 V-Bucks. We have the Barrage Cannon built-in emote for Optimus Prime. And no, guys, he does not transform into a car, sadly enough. But that is very cool. He looks like that, you know. And we're going to wait for the second style thing to show up. It says one of two, so let, let's see what this one has to offer. This is just the normal Optimus Prime without his built-in emote. This is the legendary outfit, noble leader of the heroic Autobots. So, guys, if you like Optimus Prime, obviously, here he is. If you like Optimus Prime, there you go. He's in the Battle Pass. Moving along to the next set of rewards here, we have the bonus rewards. The Lucha Slashers Pickaxe. Still not a fan of this, either way. But if you guys are, let me know what you guys think of the two-handed pickaxes. But yeah, close through the competition with these pickaxes right here. We have Call of the Wilds, a hidden world beckons. So this is the loading screen here. Here's what it looks like in full screen mode. Very nice. We got rideable raptors this season, I'm guessing. And also what seems to be grind rails that kind of look like vines in a way. Uh, so basically vines you can slide on. We have the Sky Scout glider, hunt from above, which this is another style here. Very clean if you guys like this color scheme. We got beacon glass, another clean one, blue edit style, very clean. We have the dynamic Mariposa, the daring dynamo reinvented. And this is her as the dynamo version of her skin. Not the greatest wrestling type skin, but I like it. It's clean in a way. But if you guys like it, maybe you'd run it. Me personally, I might run it maybe a few times. We'll see. Moving along, Autobot Signal Flare, calling all Autobots. There it is. A very nice contrail. We have the Signal Tracer. A true hunter is never lost. Another style for that. Very clean. We have the Buzzsaw Breacher. Thrash your way through. Another style for that. We have the Marauder's Machete. Always carry a blade as sharp as your wit. 
yet another style, yet another clean pickaxe. And over here we have Lorenzo the Reckless, and this is what he looks like. I like this style a lot as well, very nice. I like the purple thing he's got going out the sides of his face, very cool, I like that. But yeah, next set of things here we have the Electric Shredder, but the green style, very clean. Like I said, Fatal will most like, like the green stuff more than I will. Nomad's Carvers, but also green is kind of my favorite color still, but it's more of the blue color for me. Nomad Carvers, another clean looking pickaxe. Right here, very nice with that blue, you know, hitting thing here. Pit markers, whatever you call those things. So these are the Nomad's Carvers, a gift from Storm and Desert. So moving along, we have this Psychonic Surfer, find yourself in style. And here it is with a new type of style here with black, gold, and white, a little bit of green. Very clean as well. Same with this wrapping. It's kind of the same thing, but this is the Rosa Libre. Uh, it's another wrapping. Basically the same thing as the glider, just a little bit different. We have the battle tested style for Optimus Prime, which basically this is him after a battle in a rust type form. If you guys like that, let me know. Also, everything else will be coming in 14 days and bonus rewards. So the quest rewards, I don't know how far you have to go into the season, but we'll start with this one. The Prime Meridian Wrap. Very nice. It looks nice. It's got some blue and yellows, a little bit of silver in there. Very nice if you like that color scheme. Same with this pickaxe as well. This also looks very clean with Aura. Especially this style of Aura, like I said. Also, we have the banner icon, which looks like a compass. And the same backlink from before, the Kazadora wings, with the new edit style, obviously. Looks very nice. And wow, look at his red hair. Wow. Look at that. Luminary Trace. Look at that. If you guys like the yellow on this skin, you know, with some blue added to it on his arms there. Let me know what you guys think, what your guys' favorite skin is in this season. For me, I have no clue yet. I literally have no idea until I finish this. Adventure Aerial. So another style for that. I like this one a little more. Looks kind of nice. We have the Battle Ready Era Spray, the North Quester Deluxe, find your way at any cost. Yet another clean style for the backlink. Oh god, the Dune Scooper, thwack the competition. And this is what they called the Pooper Scooper. Basically, it scoops up cat poop. Yeah. So now we have the Wild Guard Relic style. I don't know what this entails, but I don't really like it too much. If you guys are into it, there you go. We have the Hunter's Reach, no quarry will escape you. Another style for that. I don't know if you guys like this one, but this is kind of cool, I guess. If you guys like the color scheme, it's pretty sick. There you go. We got the ticking clock emoji. Another cute and adorable type thing. I'm guessing this one's for Meowsels. I'm guessing. We have the Calico Nut. Calico Conut. A sweet beach beverage. Yeah, there you go. Nice little cute little thing there. We have the Cazadora, the glider. I like this one a little more because you can see a lot more blue and silver in this one. We have Stonewash Ryan or Rian, however you say her name. Let the beat run wild. And basically this is her style with the jacket. I don't know if you guys like this biker type outfit, but if you guys do, there's a good style there. Beach Breezer Glider. I'm guessing this one's also for Meowsles because I can see him there literally to the right. Relax on the Tropical Breeze. Beach Breezer. We have the Nomads Carvers. A gift from Storm and Desert, obviously same pickaxe but with a little bit of a different color which obviously it'll have a different hit looking thing, different color to that. We have the Fang Dance Emote, Flow Like the Serpent. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Wow. Work it Aura. There you go. Nice. Alright. We have the Timeless Age, another good wrapping, kind of, semi-good, if you're into this kind of, you know, wrapping right here. There you go, a nice clean wrap right there. We have the Formidable Meowsles style, which, there you go. Wow, he's kind of insane looking, I can't lie, he's buff as heck. He's ready for an adventure in the jungle, from the catwalk to the boardwalk. And this is what he looks like, you can see where the tail comes out of on the backside. Pretty nice, you can see he's got a nice bullet. But moving along, we have the Paradise Meowsels himself. So let's start with the Paradise Meowsels right here. The loading screen. Let the hunt begin. 
Art by Andrew McLeon. Calico Nut, a sweet beach beverage. Yet another style for that. We have the Calico Holiday. I don't know. It's a mid wrap, I'll say. We have the Paradise Vibes. Press play and get away for a little while. A little bit of meows in there. We have the self relaxing emote. Show off that swole. Now, I'm guessing if you had like shaders on or whatever you call it, the reflections on, you could probably see your character a little more better. But yeah, I like that. Kind of nice. I like Aura holding that. It looks gorgeous, I'm honest. Yeah. That looks nice. Alright, Paradise Meowsles from the Catbox to the Boardwalk. There he is. The Paradise version of Meowsles. He looks kind of nice with the blue and white line shorts. Very nice. If you like that, there you go. We have yet another page. The Clawsome Meowsles. They call me the wildest cat in paradise. Art by Bruno Seeling. Seelig. Art by Bruno Seelig. Banner icon. We have the Beach Breezer. Relax on the Tropical Breeze. Yet another style for that. The Paradise Pattern Wrap, not the best wrap, but it looked pretty clean if you like the beach kind of style. We have the Dune Scooper once again, yet another style for the Pooper Scooper. The Clawsome Meowsles, yet another style for that. And this is the Clawsome Meowsles version of him, very nice. If you like that style, there you go, that's what he looks like. But I don't know, I can't tell what my favorite thing is, this battle pass. But that was the entirety of the battle pass from what I've seen. And I did claim a few V-Bucks from that. But I don't know, maybe you guys wish me a happy belated birthday down in the comments. It's been a long journey coming on my Stunning My 24 channel. I still can't believe how many subscribers I gained just from doing some random videos from over the years of being a YouTuber. I guess you could say this battle pass was pretty wild. Well, what's next? garbage also we also have this background right now with the wilds jungle background looks pretty nice if you like that sort of thing also my gold bars reset and my battle stars are not there anymore i'm guessing all the rank stuff will also reset every season i hope they also bring back imposters guys because i plan on doing yet another video if they bring it back which a lot of the fortnite community want it back and i'm one of those people in the community and also faded a lot of people want this mode to come back and i'm not gonna lie with this release of sloan coming back in the storyline i feel like they could bring back imposters because this is just i don't know anymore but guys just put hashtag bring back imposters in the comments so people can actually see it yeah uh, you know get to know it but what do i rate this battle pass i say it's a solid 7.5 to 8 as well as i'm kind of going similar to Tabor hill basically for me it's kind of a 7.5 or 8 out of 10 it's pretty solid i'll say it's like an 8 to 9 out of 10 actually for me it's more like that it's kind of better than the last season kind of but also apparently mega city is also still on the map so if you like mega city don't fret don't panic it is still on the map it's not going anywhere from what i know so i've seen everything on twitter that i could but not you know enough to spoil the gameplay or anything but i did see the gameplay trailer and obviously the gameplay for the cinematic trailer but if you guys want to see those and me react to those if i end up doing a video go check out my repentment vlogs channel other than that that was a pretty good battle pass my favorite skin has probably gotta be the timeless era i like her a lot she's really cool especially that blue style you guys seen that was my most absolute favorite skin of the season i'm not gonna lie but you guys write your favorite skins down in the comments as well but i've been studying my 24 don't forget to leave a like on the video if you guys hit the like button obviously it's turn blue and spirit of course if you guys hit the like button on pc or mobile it'll turn black or white depending on the light or dark mode you have set on youtube also make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the notification button Bell. It'll also help the YouTube algorithm if you do subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night, whatever it is you when you're watching this video. And I like this battle pass, it was really good. So see you guys in the next one. Peace out, gamers.